Welcome to Grumpy with Bob's Review. Today, we're taking a look at The Rock Show, Charles Dunn. The Rock vs. The Drunk Deal. Right there on Emerson Street. Let's take a look. I hate to say it, but I think our new neighbors are dealing drugs. Oh, come on, Eleanor. We got a clean block here. Rock, the first thing they did when they moved in was put bars up on the windows. Hey, that's security conscious. Well, how do you explain all those people coming and going at all hours of the day and night, Rock? I am telling you, they are dealing. Oh, come on, Eleanor, you're jumping to conclusions. Yeah, maybe there's a more innocent explanation. Like what? Well, he could be just fencing stolen goods. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe, you know, with the way things are today, I'm just being a little bit paranoid. I understand your concerns, sweetheart. That's one of the main reasons we moved here, because this was a safe neighborhood. Right. Hey, 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 hey. You know those new people across the street? Yeah. Uh -huh. They just tried to sell me some drugs. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm going to go over there and let them know that we don't want Rock, There's a lot of hard-working people living here. Yeah, Rock, but you can't go over there empty-handed. Uh, like I'm gonna go bring them a housewarming gift. <laughs> no, Rock, I mean a gun. Them cats got automatic weapons and they'll use them, too. No, Rock, Joey is right. You can't go over there sticking your nose in this stuff. It is dangerous. You could get hurt. Well, what am I supposed to do, Eleanor? Call the police. Oh, come on, Eleanor. Let's face it. They're not gonna come down to this neighborhood because one guy calls them up and tell them that there's drug dealing going on. Yeah, I'm sorry to say it, but he's right, sis. This is a case of bad timing. What do you mean? Well, the only time you ever read about drug busts is when someone is running for office. Ain't got, yeah, ain't, 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 ain't ain't got that. Hey, besides, if we do call the police and those punks find out, they could retaliate. Oh, don't listen to Joey, son. If you see something illegal going on, it's your responsibility to yourself and to the community to do something about it. It's that apathetic attitude that got us into this mess today. Yeah, Rock, call the police. And look, the only reason I called you in the first place, Sergeant, is because my wife made me. The watch commander told me a week ago that you'd look into it. Now look, b before you tell me that you're too busy and that you're understaffed, let me tell you something. I don't care. I want to see results. Yeah, I want him out of here. I want him off my street. Why do I listen to Eleanor? Because you're married to her. <laughs> Eleanor, Dr. where you Bob been? To the market. Oh. Look, Eleanor, I thought I told you I don't want you going out by yourself. Rock, we cannot be prisoners in our own house. Well, he is. <laughs> Rock, that's a different story now. Now, the truth is, Eleanor, things are getting ugly out there. You know old man Junior Barnett down the street had his house broken into last night. He did? Yeah. Well, all right, that's it. I'm going over there. Rock, you can't go over there alone. Well, come on, Joey. Go with me. I, I don't know, Eleanor. He's a big guy. He can do it by himself. <laughs> Seriously, Rock, Rock, I got a better idea, okay? Yeah, what? Okay, I was watching TV the other day, right? Yeah, how, where do you find the time? Please, Rock, now. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, I was switching channels, right? I found this report on these people in Detroit who got together and they took their neighborhood back from the crack dealers. Yeah, they demonstrated, they picketed it in front of the crack house. They drew so much attention, they drove away the business. They left. Just disgusting. I didn't work hard all my life to bring you kids up to live in a world where black people That's destroy right. each other. That's What's wrong it. now? Oh, our new to neighbors boy. across the street. Oh, uh, it looks like they really set up shop. It's busier than ever over there. Well, Papa, I think we came up with a way to get rid of them. Well, I hope so, son. Because it'd be a damn shame to see the same thing happen on this street that happened over on Central. They destroyed that neighborhood. All that's left is a bunch of burnt out buildings. So what are you going to do, son? Look, we're going to get everybody in the neighborhood together, Pop, and we're going to march in front of that house until we put them out of business. Well, that's great, son. I'm with you. Well, whatever it takes to get that filth off our block, and I'll make sure that everybody down at the senior center knows about okay. it, too. You're playing into what they want. Rock the call to me. I mean, people Rock are counting on me. us to sit by and do nothing. That's right. And the longer we do that, the worse it's going to get. I thought you had a plan. But you're trying to get us killed. I didn't come down here to put my life on the line. Thomasine, if you just sit by and do nothing, your life is already on the line. Right. No, no, I'm not I told interested. you that one. You know, they probably know we're here now. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm going to take my chance. Hey, hey, I hold can't on. Hold on, believe this. I can't believe you people are turning your backs on this thing. <laughs> 
Walking away is not the answer. You know that if you saw what I see every day at that hospital, I'm talking drug overdoses, gunshot victims, babies born addicted to this awful thing. And if you think you're safe by doing nothing, then you're crazy. Now, come on, people. Come on. Trust me. Now we can beat them. You beat it here, old rock. <laughs> old rock, you beat it here. Damn fools. Can you believe Boy, this? Yeah, with it. Yeah, with it. Yeah, they yeah, all yeah. left. Nobody's with us. I'm with you, my brother. Yeah, who are you? Uh oh. I'm Roddy Paxton. Roddy Paxton. Next block. Roddy I don't like what Paxton. you said up there. Yeah, but you're the only one. Man, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? Those people right there, they just straight scared. They're gonna go home and hide and hope it goes away. That's a fact of life. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna shut my eyes and pretend it's not happening. This is something I'm gonna fight. Yeah. Well, I hear you, man. And what you're saying is absolutely right. It's just sometimes you gotta say it a little louder. How's that? Round it, Pat. Round it, Pat. No one he ain't playing with him. He ain't playing with him. He ain't playing with him. Listen, Rock, I know it's hard to just sit by and watch that stuff going on across the street, but maybe we just have to wait and eventually hope the police will do something. Well, Eleanor, you know that's not gonna happen. Besides, Black folks never got anywhere waiting. Oh, Pop's right, Eleanor. Just ain't my style to sit around and wait, you know? And maybe I can't stop them from selling drugs, but I certainly can tell them what I think of them. Oh, yeah? How you gonna do that, Rock? I'm going over there. Say what? Oh, son, Say wait. What? Now, you aren't Damn serious. right I'm serious, Pop. Rock, are you crazy? Rock, maybe Rock, you're playing. Rock, you're not playing right now. You said Say it. Say it. Rock, get rid of the drug dealer. looking for trouble, they gonna kill you. I'm sorry. Hey, look, if you came for the meeting, it's over. Uh -oh, Everybody uh -oh. left. Yeah, well, we are here Come for on, the meeting. Andre. Parenthetically. <laughs> what? what I'm trying to say, man, is uh, I think we're the reason for your meeting. We're your new neighbors. I'm Andre. What's up? This is what you little punks look like up close, huh? Now, Rock. Um, Rocky, he didn't Rocky, mean that. Just go away and leave us alone. Okay? Yeah, cool. We just came by to talk. You know, trying to be a little neighborly. You know what I'm saying? Least y'all could do is invite us in. Where's your home training, G? I ain't got none for the likes of you. Pop, come on, Pop, come on. Don't even go there. Now, now you want to talk? Go you want to talk? We'll talk. Bet. Let's go, fella. Yeah, but just, just you. All right. Yo, wait for me back at the crib, man. This'll be easy. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, uh, crack dealer. Let's talk. Yeah, that's cool, but, uh, just you. I ain't going nowhere. Me either. Rock, I don't want him in this house at all, much less alone. Hey, hey, okay, hey. Okay, I can handle this little punk. Now, Pop, please, I want you and Joy to take Eleanor upstairs. Oh, no, no I ain't baby. happy with this, no, son. Pop, 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 please. Come on, Eleanor. You remember, son. I'll be right at the top of the stairs. Save your breath, Rock. I've seen too many of my friends go down with the help of suckers like this. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so yeah, Julia, Sorry, Julia ain't even like that. I don't Sorry. know why you act like, like that. He ain't even that. He ain't like me. He ain't like that. Now, let me break this down to you, G. I got a nice little thing going across the street, you understand? And I don't need somebody like you messing things up with your little phone calls to the police and your stupid ass block parties. This ain't none of your damn business, man. You understand? I'm trying to get paid, you understand? And I don't need you butting into my affairs. I thought this was a nice neighborhood, man. Yeah, it was a nice neighborhood. It's always been a nice neighborhood. Yeah, well, I hear what you're saying, brother. But I'm a businessman, you know what you're I mean? You're a businessman? That's right. Is that what you call yourself? You ain't no business, man. You're a murderer. And you're killing your own people. Now, you may have done your killing someplace else, but it ain't happening here. Why are you trying to be a hero, man? Huh? I mean, it looked like you got it bad enough as it is. <laughs> Working a lousy job, busting your ass, picking up people's garbage. Got your brother and your father on your back. Oh, oh, yeah, shit, yeah. 
You watching me? I don't know. I'm watching you. I don't know. All right, G, I'm sorry, man. Look, <laughs> let's cut through all the crap, all right? I'm gonna make things real easy for you, man. How much they paying you down at that little funky garbage dump? But you think you can buy me off? I'm trying, G. I don't want your damn money, you know? I'll empty trash cans for the rest of my life before I take money from you. Well, I got drugs, homie. What you need? Listen to me, you little filthy punk. I don't think I made myself clear. I don't want your drugs. I don't want your money. I want your sorry ass out of my house and off my street. You understand? Okay, Rock, now you gotta stop this now. Stay out of this, Elvin. I don't think you want to do this, G. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting to do this ever since you moved. No, I don't think you want to find one of these loved ones of yours in one of those garbage cans you pick. If you ever so much as look in that direction, I'll run down on you and I'll break your back. Oh, don't hurt him, son. Are you crazy? Are you not crazy? I am. Rock, let him go, please. Son, come on, son. Okay, okay. Well, it's obvious we're not going to be able to work this out tonight, all right? You see, you, you don't seem to understand. See, we ain't got nothing to work out. I want you gone from here. That's my bottom line. And I'm going to lean on you every day till you're out of here. I'm going to be in your face every day and every night. When you close your eyes, all you're going to see is me. No matter how long it takes, even if it kills me. That boy is yeah. still rocking. He is still rocking. Well, it just might. Trash, man. Just might. That was good. Rocking the drug dealer, that was real good. I really liked that. This was the Bobby Crowd Review. Bobby Bob. Thanks, Black Boy. See you next time.